Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to another exciting and informative episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. Today and this morning I will be reviewing a coffee. Now typically when I reviewed coffee before it was some interesting new technology or micro dosing or frozen coffee of some sort. But today I'm just going to be reviewing a bag of coffee beans. And today's coffee is none other than Jackson Park Espresso. And as you can see, a picture of coffee. Not too unsimilar to other pictures. Now, this coffee describes itself as our coffee so good, you'll want to drink it. Jackson Park Espresso is a smooth, custom blend of certified organic, fair trade, shade grown, medium roast coffee. Our beans are sourced from farming cooperatives in Guatemala in partnership with mission, mission driven and eco friendly. Dean's Beans Organic Company, Oregon, Orange, Massachusetts. These Co-op relationships follow a people-centered development model focused on the needs of local communities and assisting them in designing small, meaningful projects that are self-sustaining over time to help create significant change. I could say it is a partnership with Dean's Beans. And Jackson Park Espresso is a uh, Read all the Yankovic brand of coffee. I think it's his only coffee that he has. Um, so let's go ahead and, and, and review the beans first. Here's just a couple of them. They are a medium size, medium roast. They smell like coffee. Which is good because that's what you want in a coffee um, is for it to smell like the product um, that you wish it to be. It comes with these convenient uh, bendy tabs to help maintain the freshness of the coffee beans. It comes in a uh, a very artfully styled package. Um, I'm, I'm interested in how they got Jackson Park Espresso as a name. Maybe you should Google where I think of a Jackson Park Express and find out. So what do I have here? I have some coffee I made with these beans. If you're unfamiliar with this device, it is a pour over device. You put a filter on the top here pour the ground beans, which I freshly ground this morning, into the filter, pour the water over it, it comes down into this chamber. You got this little buggy thing up top that helps keep warm as well. This is a double walled insulated glass, so I can hold it on the outside. It's a little bit warm, but it's never going to get it hot. But the coffee inside remains hot. It has this nifty cork wraparound thing. The next thing I'll do is pour it into this, which is a coffee cup. Or mug, as some might say. I'm going to pour it from a distance to aerate the coffee, you know, you need to aerate it to mix it with air, it really brings out the coffee of it all. It got like a little bit of like some of the finer dust of it. 
just takes a little bit of it before we add any other things to it. Very nice coffee smell. Oh, tasty. It tastes like coffee. And I like that. Typically, I add half and half to my coffee. I'm going to just put a little bit in there and then see if I need to add more. No, that's the color I like. And then this, what's in here is um, monk fruit and uh, fake sugars, but I like it. It's pretty good, especially coffee. Put all that in there because that's exactly how much I usually have. Give it a stir stir. This tastes exactly like the coffee I drink every day. It tastes like coffee with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of milk. Well, half and half. It's got caffeine in it. And it's so good, I want to drink it. So it lives up to its lofty goals on the back. Jackson Park Espresso Coffee, I give it eight thumbs up. And that's been a 100% truthful and serious review by me, John, on this Bad Hipster channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the rest of your day after watching this may not be as exciting um, compared to what you've just seen. For that, I'm sorry, but if you can subscribe to the channel, then you'll see more videos like this, and it will increase your energy as well, just as much as mine is, and it will both be super energetic for the rest of the day. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.